Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about alkyne ozonolysis. Alkynes, like alkenes, react with ozone to form carbonyl compounds. And so to start off, I'm going to uh, highlight or to remind you of the ways that alkenes undergo uh, ozonolysis. Uh, and in fact, alkenes can undergo ozonolysis two different ways. Uh, one is F following reductive work up, uh, where one possible outcome is aldehydes for uh, alkenes where there is a hydrogen present on one of the carbons. And the other option is Oops, sorry. The other option is if you have oxidative workup, and this isn't done quite so so commonly, uh, where the carbon atom that, or the carbon on the alkene that had the hydrogen becomes a carboxylic acid. The other carbon where there are two hydrocarbon groups is going to be a ketone no matter what. Ketones are hard to oxidize further. Uh, alkene, alkynes behave a little bit differently. Um, and so there are actually two possible outcomes here, though maybe not what you would expect. One of them is this interesting guy ketone compound. And then the other one is a functional group known as an anhydride or carboxylic acid anhydride, as there are other kinds of anhydrides. And it depends on the conditions which one of these is favored. And I'm not going to spend a whole lot more time talking about that with the exception of that if this reaction is done in the presence of water, it tends to favor the anhydride which under these conditions hydrolyzes to form carboxylic acid. And I'll draw in the other molecule here. And if the alkyl groups or if the hydrocarbon groups on either side of the, of the uh, alkyne were different, you'd get different carboxylic acid molecules. Uh, I'm not specifying whether my R groups are the same or different, but um, you get two carboxylic acids. And when we talk about ozonolysis of, of alkynes, it's usually this bottom one that most people think about. And, and if you're trying to think about ozonolysis of alkynes in terms of ozonolysis of alkenes, uh, alkenes, you normally think about taking the carbon-carbon double bond, replacing with the carbon-oxygen double bond. Uh, ozonolysis of alkynes, we have three carbon-carbon bonds. So we're going to make three carbon-oxygen bonds, but oxygen can only have two bonds. We can't have a carbon-oxygen triple bond. We can have a carbon-oxygen double bond and then a carbon-oxygen single bond at the same place. Let's quickly do uh, an alkyne ozonolysis example. And I picked uh, this alkyne because I want to highlight that something slightly different happens uh, for terminal alkynes. So first, we're doing this reaction in the presence of water. Uh, so that means that we're going to get the anhydride initially. And that anhydride looks like this. We just take the two alkyne carbons. And it's like we erase the, the, the carbon-oxygen triple bond pack, actually. Let me, let me do that. So let me stretch out the carbon-oxygen triple bond a little bit and put in the the hydrogen here for a minute. Now let's delete this bond and we're going to create uh, carbonyl groups here and we're going to connect them together. And this doesn't look at, as pretty as it could, but I can, I can fix that a little bit. Here, maybe fix this a little bit. Program's trying to fix me. Here we go. 
Uh, and then this thing undergoes hydrolysis to make the carboxylic acids. I don't want to redraw the whole thing, so I'll copy and paste. Here's one of my carboxylic acids. And here is the other one. Now, what I want to tell you, and the reason why I chose my terminal alkyne, is that we don't ice, actually isolate uh, formic acid. Because formic acid is really easy to, to oxidize. It's so easy to oxidize, it's used as a reducing agent uh, because it's easily oxidized. And so we don't form formic acid, we actually form carbon dioxide uh, from that terminal alkyne carbon. But I am going to have one more video in this series, actually. It's going to be about uh, some other addition reactions of alkynes, uh, and specifically things that alkenes do, that we're used to alkenes doing, that alkynes don't do, and then, then uh, just some other cool examples of some addition reactions of alkynes. Stay tuned to that, and thanks for watching.